As fighting in Mosul intensifies, Iraqi forces say they are approaching the Grand Mosul Mosque, where Islamic State Group declared its caliphate in 2014. The loss of the mosque could be an important symbolic blow to the group. But the civilian toll of the urban warfare has been growing. The U.S. is investigating a claim that a recent coalition airstrike caused the death of more than 150 people. On Tuesday, Amnesty International said hundreds have been killed in airstrikes, accusing the U.S.-led coalition of not taking enough precautions to prevent civilian deaths as the coalition battles Islamic State militants. Amnesty says the deadliest strike in years took place on March 17 in the western Mosul Al Jadida neighborhood where a building collapsed, killing up to 150 people. Amnesty questioned the lawfulness of the attacks against Islamic State in densely populated urban districts. Uh, there were coalition airstrikes in the vicinity uh, you know, you know, of that day and previous days, but we don't know with certainty whether a coalition strike caused the civilian casualties or not. It is very possible that Daesh uh, blew up that building to blame it on the coalition in order to uh, cause a delay in the offensive into Mosul and cause a delay in the use of coalition airstrikes. That's very possible. And it's possible that a coalition airstrike did it. So we don't know yet. Uh, there are investigators on the ground, and I would expect that uh, uh, some degree of certainty will be known in the coming days uh, following the investigation. Civilians fleeing western Mosul say Islamic State were using them as human shields. <laughs>